Chataboutit.com is the place to listen to new and exciting talk shows. Listen live and call us at 877-CHAT-212 at Chataboutit.com. Today on Mr. Media, I'll talk to actress Lauren Bowles, who is the newest Merlot's waitress on HBO's True Blood this season. Stick around. So much media, so little time. Who keeps track of it all? That would be me. This is Bob Andelman, and this is a Mr. Media interview. You know, MrMedia.com, MRMedia.com. Stop by and check it out. There are more than 600 archived celebrity interviews for your listening pleasure. The show is brought to you today by ThePartyAuthority.us. Planning a wedding, mitzvah, or corporate event? For any and all occasions, call the Party Authority nationwide at 1-800-DIAL-DJs. That's 1-800-342-5357, where one call does it all. Now, Mr. Media is recorded live before a studio audience of Anna Paquin lookalikes in the new new media capital of the world and home of the best team in baseball, St. Petersburg, Florida. Well, I ask you, could there be a better time to interview actress Lauren Bowles? In a career that's been steadily on the upswing, she joined HBO's bloody hot drama True Blood this season as the newest waitress at Merlot's. And, and the show's, who would have guessed, but the show's three top line stars, Anna Paquin, Alexander Skarsgård, and Stephen, Stephen Moyer, appeared naked on the cover of Rolling Stone this week dripping in blood. Fake blood, I assume, but it certainly got the idea across. Naked and bloody. That's the way we like our TV these days. Now, if you've never seen the show, or even if you have, here's a short teaser from True Blood. Hit it, Rudy. Russell wants her. Give her to him to save your own skin. You're too busy signing wills instead of using her. Where is she? You promised me you'd look after her. You know you can't trust Bill. If I meet the true death without having at least kissed you, that would be my biggest regret. This baby ain't yours. Go back to hell! Where's rest? What is the truth for once? Why don't you tell Suki the truth? Besides True Blood, Lauren will appear in February in the next Farrelly Brothers movie, Hall Pass, with Owen Wilson and Christina Applegate. And again, the timing is everything in this business, because today the New York Times did a major story about New York fashion being overtaken by the influence of Seinfeld TV character Elaine Bennis. Now, what does that have to do with Lauren Bowles? Elaine was played by her sister, Julia Louis-Dreyfus. We'll get to that later. But she's also married to the business. Mad Men fans will recognize her husband, Patrick Fischler, as the foul-mouthed comedian Jimmy, Bar Jimmy Barrett, whose wife, Don Draper, memorably stooped. <laughs> Patrick also did extended stints on Lost and Southland before landing a role in the Steve Carell comedy Dinner for Schmucks. Now, how about that? I work stooped and schmucks into a single paragraph. Not bad. And on top of everything else, Lauren is a new mom, so let's try to keep it down on the set and not wake the baby. Lauren Bowles, welcome to Mr. Media. Thank you so much. How are you? I'm just lovely. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. Nice to talk to you again. Um, I like how you work the stooped and the schmucks. That was very good. <laughs> You know, I think that counts I, as alliteration, which I'm a big fan of. Oh, well, <laughs> well, if stupt and schmucks counts as alliteration, I want to go back and get, get my degree. Re <laughs> I want them to scratch out <laughs> yeah, film studies and that. write in English. <laughs> <laughs> so, Lauren, not a bad time to be appearing on True Blood, huh? I'll take it. How about them apples? How about that? <laughs> I'm uh, very excited. Did you... Uh, you probably didn't know anything about that Rolling Stone cover before it happened, I'm guessing. I did not. I, uh, I'm a fan like everybody else, so actually I think my husband found the cover online, and he's like, you're not going to believe this, and he showed it to me, and I couldn't believe it. It's pretty, it's pretty fabu, if you ask me. 
It, it is. It's uh, it's one of their memorable ones. I noticed on their website today that right below it, I think, is the co the Jennifer Aniston cover where she's nude and you're seeing her yes. backside. And, yes. And uh, of course, probably their their two most famous nude covers, uh, John Lennon and Yoko Ono, many years oh, ago, yes. eighty one, and and Janet Jackson with the man behind her holding holding her in a similar way. Oh, that was way Rolling to Stone. I forgot that one. Yeah. 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 See, all so, you have to uh, do is disrobe. And you got everyone talking about you. I, I'm going to start right now. Okay, folks, watch out. No, do it. Just kidding. I'll I be waiting. You, You're please. off camera. It'll be easy. <laughs> Come on. No, no, uh, no. My my thing apparently is alliteration. Uh, your thing is you know looking good for the camera. So okay, I'll I'll leave true. it to the pros. Okay. So I, you know I got to ask you uh, any uh, you know we're talking uh, there's blood everywhere on the cover of Rolling Stone and there's blood everywhere on the show. Any hesitation on on being on the show? I mean. You know, it's a huge hit, but, you know, vampires and... No hesitation, none whatsoever. If Alan Ball comes a-knocking, believe me, you answer that door. Mm. If people don't know, Alan Ball is the creator and producer the of... The creator, True. writer extraordinaire, yes, of, uh, of uh, True Blood, amongst many other things. Well, and, and of course, uh, one of my all-time favorites, uh, Six Feet Under, before that, so... Six Feet yeah. Under and American Beauty. Oh, yeah, of course, the film. Yeah. Rose petals in the, in the tub. Who could forget? Exactly. And, and we're back to the nudity. <laughs> it seems like a kind of a recurring theme. It uh, is. The Alan tonight. might have to discuss that with his therapist, I think. <laughs> um, so, I mean, you're a long way from Rita Rocks here, aren't you, Dorothy? <laughs> this is true. It's a long way. I don't even remember where that show took place. But, yes, it's a, it's a long way from Lifetime. HBO. Yeah, yeah. Now, were you a fan of True Blood coming in? Huge fan. Huge fan. Like I said, I was a huge fan of Alan Ball. And um, so, really, when I got the audition, it was so surreal. And I was so nervous just to meet him that sort of my only goal was to just... It never really occurred to me that I, I would book it, because that just seemed out of the realm of possibility. But I was mm -hmm. really hoping that I would, like, do a good job so they could bring me back in for something. That was my goal. Hmm. And uh, it seems to have worked out. You did, uh, I'm, I'm thinking, five episodes? I've done four this year, and then I'm on next year. Oh, you are? Congratulations. I uh, didn't know if I could ask you that. Excellent. You are allowed to. That is the one thing that's been released. As long as it's been released on the Internet, I feel free to, to uh, confirm. Oh, because we all know that whatever we read on the Internet is true. <laughs> Everything, right? <laughs> Was it, you know, I, let me ask you a question. I, you know, I, I'm a big fan of certain things. I mean, I'm a, I'm a huge Bruce Springsteen fan, but even in the, the days that I was a, a rock music critic back in the 80s, I never actually wanted to meet the guy and interview him because I always thought it would take away some of that mystique. And I so when you go that. on a, that was my, my analogy is always you, you don't want to work in a restaurant that you love. Yeah, right. Yeah. So but, did I have that hesitation here? Yeah. None at all. Well, a great well, job is a all, great job. There, right? <laughs> there's, there's the reality aspect as, as an actor, and particularly if you're not a star. Um, as you mentioned, the, the aforementioned Rita Rocks, you, you, you kind of just take a job when you get it. <laughs> so what I'm not really saying? at the point of picking and choosing yet. Um, but then you get a job like True Blood, where it's truly just an absolute dream come true. And I guess it would have been a big fat bummer if it had been an absolute nightmare and everyone were... We're jerks on the set, but it's just, it's a dream. It's a dream job. Hmm. Well, and I, want, and I, I wanted to ask you about the set. Now, I, I know, as you mentioned, you can't give away, you know, major plot points, obviously, for the, the end of the season or anything like that. Right. But what, what is it like being on that set? I mean, is it a dark, serious place or is it one that's, you know, fun and there's a, a sense of, a, an enjoyment of the sense of ridiculousness of what's a going on. A total enjoyment uh, of a, a sense of the absurdity of, of the world that, that is being created. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No one, no one takes it. When I say seriously, obviously everyone takes the, the work and the scene seriously, but uh, it, it's a very lighthearted set for, for the, <laughs> compared to the world that's being depicted. Absolutely. Um, uh, Anna, uh, Stephen and Alexander, were, were, were known quantities before the series started, but not huge stars. I think Anna was right. still kind Anna of Anna was known probably, for, I think, the biggest name yeah. for sure. Um, you know, she was the uh, rogue in the X-Men is the way I always know her. Um, 
And the piano. And the piano. Well, she was very young then, though. Yes. I, I you know, I, I think I'm, I remember more. Wasn't Holly Hunter in that film? Exactly. I think she played yeah. her daughter. Right. I mean, I tend to remember Holly Hunter for that movie more than Anna. Sorry, Anna, but, you know, it's just, it is what it is. Didn't but, she win the Oscar? Uh, Holly Hunter did, right? Or no, did, but I think Anna did. Maybe Anna I did. Thought she was the youngest person to ever win an Oscar. Am I completely wrong about that? Uh, well, I, I've got it from my authority. Um, Rudy, our engineer, says that uh, you are correct, that ah, uh, Anna, yes. Anna did win. And I, you know. What do I I'm win Mr. now Medi for being right? I'm Mr. Media, not Mr. Know-it-all. That's AJ Jacobs. Okay, okay. <laughs> and everything in the media is true, right? <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm laughing because Rudy says what you win is a kiss. <laughs> oh, thanks, Rudy. Yeah. <laughs> Now, Rudy, you're embarrassing me. This is awkward. I don't know. <laughs> oh, man. Has this just um, gone completely awry? Has this become a totally different interview? It's, is this it's awkward because Rudy's hand. hitting on me now? The engineer, yeah, Rudy is hitting on you. Rudy, have you seen <laughs> your husband? I've seen him yeah, in Mad Men. I'm married, Rudy. This isn't cool. <laughs> um, <laughs> gosh, where do we go from there? Did anyone give you advice? Uh, I'm guessing Alan Ball, but maybe any of the actors give you advice about tone on the show? Not really. I think um, I think he kind of just probably cast people that I'm guessing. I, I haven't spoken to the man personally about this, but I'm guessing he probably just cast people that I think he thinks matches that well. And mm -hmm. um, I had a pretty good sense of the tone since since I've watched it from the beginning. So. Mm. That wasn't too much of a discussion, or hasn't been yet. Okay, and uh, we're gonna we're gonna break in a second for just a moment. But I wanted to ask you: uh, Are there any lines that you can give us a read of, kind of out of context? Don't explain where they came from, but any lines that kind of you know might have cracked you up, or just you know very memorable for you that you've well, had. First on the show? of all, I, I I hate to correct you, but I forgot how you, it's more lots. I forgot, you know what? I think you pronounced I, it. I was afraid that was the case. I, I think it's because yes, I'm, exactly. I, I, I don't and drink. And if you want to do it with the slight value twang, it's Merlots. Merlots, okay. Here. Merlots. Well, all right, True Blood, True Blood fans, you're going to hate on me for that. I apologize. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, I'm trying to think offhand. I'm so bad. I can't think of an exact quote. Oh, yes. Hello, the one that just happened. You okay. killed my cooter. This is a line from the show. Don't think I'm being inappropriate. <laughs> that was a line from the show. You killed my cooter. <laughs> That's got to go down in history. The fans will know what I'm talking about. Uh, no, I'm, I know. And, and I, I, I'm laughing, too, because, uh, of course, you and I did a little uh, video test. Uh, was, it, was it yesterday? And I won't use the language from that, but uh, I can I see you. I couldn't remember if you'd remember that, and I couldn't remember if we're allowed to repeat. I don't know what our, our uh, rules here in terms I of would, language. Um, I would pass on repeating that one here on uh, Okay, on and I CBS, shall not. CBS Digital. We'll, uh, we'll give them a break for that. Um, no one has <laughs> any idea what we're talking about. <laughs> no, and, and, you know, folks, you can write in, and uh, I'll, uh, I'll, share, I'll share a little bit with you. Um, right now, let's... Uh, Let's take a quick break. Uh, this is Bob Andelman, and you're listening to the Mr. Media Radio interview with actress Lauren Bowles, who is featured in this season's True Blood episodes on HBO. And we'll be back, we now understand, next season. And we'll be right back after this. Hey, did you know that you can listen to the latest Mr. Media on your phone with the Stitcher app? Stitcher is smart radio for your smartphone. Mr. Media is on demand and on the go with Stitcher. Download Stitcher for your phone today. Get the free download at Stitcher.com. That's S-T-I-T-C-H-E-R.com. In November 2004, Nathan was sentenced to six years for committing a gun crime. He was only 19. Hi, Nathan. Yes, sir. How long have you been there? I've been locked up three years and some change. What do you miss most of all? Other than being with my loved ones, little things probably. Wind, trees, all that. Just being free. How hard has it been on your mother? Difficult on a mother with a son in prison. I say it's been probably hard on her than it has on me. What about your brothers? Do you ever give them any advice? Or... My youngest brother, he's all right. My older brother, he's he's more rebellious. I just try to keep him on track. Mm. Well, he never said it, but I, I think he blamed me for leaving. He feel like I left him out there by himself. Mm -hmm. There's really nothing I can do in here for him. My hands is tied. 
I can't really help in any way. If you could tell your family one thing, what, what do you think you'd tell them? I love them. When you commit a gun crime, your family serves the sentence with you. Gun crimes hit home. Brought to you by Project Safe Neighborhoods and the Ad Council. What's all the buzz on chataboutit.com? The Big Biz Show with Sonny and Rusty Nails. Financial news with an edge. Dow Jones and Decimal Average up 1.3%. That's 120 points, Rusty Nails. We're, we're back in good good shape here. Everyone was freaking out yesterday. I heard the news guy. And the Dow was drastically down. It wasn't down drastically. Well, to a news guy? Market crisis 2009. Yeah. Dropping nearly 100 points. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, settle right. down there, big boy. Right. Big Biz Show. Weekdays at 3 p.m. on your computer at chataboutit.com. This is Bob Andelman, and you're listening to the Mr. Media Radio interview with actress Lauren Bowles, who is featured in this season's True Blood on HBO. Now, Lauren actually made her mark largely in comedy before joining HBO's show. Um, and just for fun, and I should probably hate me for this, here's a clip of her in an episode of the Lifetime series, Rita Rocks. Why are you doing Man, hey, Rita. Jay. Owen. I have had such a morning. I'm already late for work. Yes, you're working and I'm not. We're all caught up. Look, do you have the rewards card? I'm going to the market after work. Sorry, <laughs> I just drifted off. Hey, Lauren, which is closer to your heart, comedy or drama? First of all, I, I would storm out of this interview for that, but I'm in my own home, so I guess that wouldn't really work. <laughs> all right, look, I'll um, explain. There's not a lot of <laughs> there's not a lot of video clips that I could I could find uh, to, th that featured you as 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 prominently as that that I could use in this setting. I apologize. I, the next you, time you come on the show, we'll have better clips. You're you're forgiven. I blame Rudy entirely, however, but you are forgiven. <laughs> um. <laughs> So, uh, which do I prefer? Oh, I don't know. It's so hard because I've done so much of both. I've, um, I joke, I've like cried on about every hour long that's out there. So, and I've done a lot of comedy. So, I, I, if I'm really honest, I probably have to say I'm very comfortable. There's nothing like getting uh, a laugh from an audience. It, it's a, a pretty, a pretty fierce drug that one could get hooked on. So, um, but you know. A good drama, getting a good year cry on is is pretty delicious too. So it's it's really it's it's so hard. There's such different. It's so apples oranges, you know. Well, let, let's stick with comedy for a minute. What can you tell us about the new Farrelly Brothers movie you're in, uh, Hall Pass, with uh, Owen Wilson and uh, Christina Applegate? Uh, I play a, a kind of rich bitch. Am I allowed to say that? You can say that. Um, uh, it, it's about a, a, a group of guys, and some of which get uh, some hall passes from their wife. If you know what that means, it's a, a sort of a license to dally about in a biblical sense outside of mm -hmm. the marriage. Is that a diplomatic way of putting it? They're screwing around on their wives. <laughs> exactly. See, I really, in my heart, I talk like a truck driver, so I'm always <laughs> so afraid when I'm told I can't curse that something horrible is going to come out of my mouth, so I'm going <laughs> to try and not get Tourette's and behave myself uh so anyway i am uh my husband is amidst this this group of guys but he sadly does i i do not grant him a hall pass and we're we're just these disgustingly rich people that live in a, like a, a gazillion dollar mansion and we tour everyone we give everyone a tour of our 20 million dollar house and it was hilarious to shoot we shot it down in uh atlanta in really one of those like 20 million dollar mcmansions it was just ginormous you can't have them that people live this way it's really funny um but uh it was great fun it's uh, starring christina applegate and um jenna fisher and owen wilson and jason sudeikis and me wow. great cast yeah yeah the fairly well, brothers I always put together a good crew i love those guys i've worked with them a bunch did uh, well i was going to ask you did you get to do anything wholly inappropriate in this movie it is a fairly brothers film it is a Fairly Brothers film, and, and they are really, I, I just, I love my Fairly so much because they always do the same thing. They let you, they sort of always get their one or two takes as written, and then really they let you play. So if you can come up with something, they will absolutely use it. We, we did that a lot in The Heartbreak Kid, which was the first thing I did with them. Hmm. And um, 
so I'm just, I get to be like, just really rich and nasty in this, which is always great fun. <laughs> And now, my daughter uh, and I are sort of yes. mini me, so she's a, a we all wear all the Lily Pulitzer, which is the super flowery preppy look, and she's got like the identical matching dress, and uh, it's it's great fun. Hmm. Now I'm I'm going to ask you about this with because you gave me permission to your your sister uh -oh. uh, Julie Louis Dreyfus uh, yes is one of the reigning queens of TV sitcoms as a star it's of uh, Seinfeld and of course the now unfortunately canceled new adventures of old christine I and i wondered yes has has that helped or hurt your career or maybe i should really ask do people most people even know the connection do you know what's funny they do because it's sort of like if they find out about it online but because we have different last names mm. mine being goals hers being louis dreyfus obviously uh and our coloring is so different we have different dads so um no, it's not. It's not something certainly that's hindered me in in any way. And uh, I mean, if anything, it, it's helped. I've gotten some of my biggest jobs uh, up till now through nepotism. So that always works well in my favor. <laughs> we're we're acknowledging that, are we? Okay. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> I, speak the, I speak the truth, Bob. I I would ask no less. And, and did you <laughs> did you see the story I was referring to uh, earlier today in the New York Times about? Do you know what? I, I I haven't seen it yet, but I have heard about it. And she had told me that they were writing this piece, and absolutely could not believe it because that that <laughs> look haunts her to this day. Although it was quite au courant when uh, in the '90s when they were shooting, but she literally looks back. I think she calls it her wall of hair, and. Uh, <laughs> She can't believe it. My mom always used to tell us when you've lived through a trend the first time, you're not allowed to do it the second. So you will not see uh, Julia busting the, the Elaine Bennis look anytime soon, I assure you. I see. I, 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 guess, uh, I guess there's so many things about that character that will live on. I, I personally think the, the, the Elaine dancing will probably outlive yes. the fashion, though. Yes, um, that, will, uh, that, will, that will live on forever. <laughs> now, speaking of fashion, um, what did you think of your husband's uh, run as Jimmy Barrett on Mad Men? Because he was, he could be pretty dapper on that show. He could be pretty dapper. Dapper, yeah. Dap absolutely. In fact, he wore on that show. I think I can't. Uh, in the first scene, actually, when he was shooting the commercial, that is almost exactly what he wore at our wedding. I am such a sucker for the the classic old school white dinner jacket, tux pants, and uh, that is exactly what he wore to our wedding. So hmm. uh, I was a big fan of his, of his 50s, of his 50s look. He, he, and, and pardon me if I say this, uh, and, and Rudy, uh, stand by with the button if you need to, but he played uh -oh. the role of a prick so well in that series. He and, did. It is and, true. And it, it was just a great, great role. You, if you saw that, you would remember Patrick for a long yes. time. Oh, he gets he gets recognized for it all the time. That and it's always funny. You can always like judge about people, their litmus test. There's two things. He gets recognized all the time for Mad Men and Lost and for Mulholland Drive and um old school. So you can tell a lot about person which which way they fall. Are they going the more indie indie route or are they uh do they just like, you know, the the big commercial successes? Mm. And do you guys balance your your? Uh, are you able to balance who works when, or are you just both taking the jobs when they come in and you work? I out wish the we could be like Brangelina and say, okay, you do this movie and then I'll do that movie. But um, really, the reality is we're both whores, so we take any job that we get, basically. <laughs> hey, you know it's a tough economy out there. You got to. I right? feel like we just move. We got a mortgage to pay. <laughs> and you got a baby. And we got a baby. See, we got all these responsibilities, so um, hence Reader Rocks. Well, uh, we are going to run out of time, and I want to tell everybody that you can see Lauren Bowles in uh, HBO's hit vampire drama, uh, True Blood, every Sunday at eight at, at 9 p.m., and watch for her in February in the new Farrelly Brothers movie, Hall Pass, with uh, Jenna Fisher, who I love, and uh, Owen Wilson, and Christina Applegate and Jason Sudeikis, I think you said too. Exactly. Uh, yeah. And uh, Lauren, are, are you? Uh, do you do Facebook or Twitter? Or any, can people find you in any of those places? I'm so bad. I don't want to be found. 
right. I'm basically in touch with everyone I want to be in touch with. So uh, if you don't have my number, don't find it. Okay. Well, we can always <laughs> we can always find you at Merlot, Merlots, apparently. At so Merlots, we, exactly. Merlots. Yeah. We got to work on your southern twang. Okay. I, I, you know, it's funny. I had one for a while, but I, I don't seem to have it anymore. But um, Lauren, thank you so much for joining us on the show tonight. It was a thank lot of Thank you so fun. much for having me. I so appreciate it. My pleasure. You take care and take good care of that husband and baby. And make sure to give Rudy a big kiss for me. I will not. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, and folks, uh, for more <laughs> original interviews, and I mean original, with your favorite uh, TV and film stars, surf over to our main webpage at mrmedia.com, mrmedia.com. Um, and you can now hear Mr. Media while you're on the go with Stitcher Radio. Stitcher is a free news and talk mobile application. The latest episode of Mr. Media is always available for you. No syncing needed and no memory wasted. It's available for your iPhone, your Palm Pre, Android phones, or your BlackBerry. And downloading is easy. Just go to Stitcher.com and check out the App Store for your individual mobile phone. And please, subscribe to Mr. Media on iTunes so you'll never miss a show. Just search Mr. Media Interviews from within iTunes and subscribe for free. And if you really want to make me happy, write a review. Give us some stars. <laughs> And, of course, in addition to all the places you can find us, including Chat About It uh, on Radio.com and uh, Ustream.tv slash Chat About It, you can also listen with a piece of string and a tin can in many locations. If you've got an idea for a guest, email me directly at Bob at Andelman.com and follow us on Twitter or Facebook. Thanks so much for joining us today. I really appreciate you sharing a piece of your day with Mr. Media. Thanks for listening, everybody. See you next week. You're listening to Chat About It, politics, business, sports, and entertainment. When it's time to chat, go to chataboutit.com. This is Chat About It, the future of Internet radio. Don't just listen to Internet radio shows on business, sports, or politics. Chat about it.